Hello YouTube, Codismus here, and this is another video on Fat Loots version 3.3. We are going to cover mob loots in this video, specifically mobs spawning with weapons and armor. So in order to do that, you first have to create a loot table for the mob and specify that it's for when they sp are spawning. So slash loot make zombie if whatever is added to this loot table will be what the zombie drops. We want to uh, modify what the, what the zombie spawns with, their weapons and their armor, so we'll add spawn. Notice that case sensitivity is um, does matter in this, much like um, using collections, uh, case, sensit case sensitivity matters and um, yeah so just from keep that in mind now we don't have to link this to any chest but when we're typing commands if we have to include the name of the fat loot so the plugin knows which one we're talking about to make this a lot easier we're going to slash loot link zombie spawn to this chest so we can just target the chest to modify this fat loot. So slash loot info you can see this just starts off with the default settings. None of these will actually really matter for spawning a zombie but let's add some collections to this. Now in order for the spawned ar weapons and armor to work, the loot has to give exactly, the loot tables have to give exactly five items, starting with their weapon and then their armor from head to toe. So we want to create these collections in this specific order. If you know how to handle collections and giving all this loot um, better, then you don't have to do it this way there's some more creative ways to do it but they can be pretty confusing so we'll just start with this slash loot add collection and we'll start with um, hand uh, this will be what is put in the zombies hand and then we'll do the same thing with head again these are case sensitive and then body I actually made that lowercase, I want to make that capital B, so we will remove collection body, and then add collection body with capital B. Um, and then legs, and finally feet. Like I said, in order for it to work correctly, that's not what I want to do. In order for it to work correctly, they have to be in this order. Hand, head, body, legs, feet. They don't have to be called exactly that. I call them this so it, it makes more sense um, when you're adding items to them. And you'll see the number of loots from each of these will be one. So we will add, um, as you can see down below, We'll add an iron sword and a diamond sword to the zombie's hand. They could have either one of those. We're going to actually add this glass block to their head just to show that you can do stuff like that. Um, well, actually, let's add a player head too. That will be interesting. So if I even remember where the player heads are, uh, I always get lost in these. Decoration, of course. Um, we'll do a creeper head and a player head. Um, let's see here. Um, yeah. Let's see if we can do this. Creeper head, player head. And, okay, so let's start adding this loot. Slash loot, add hand um to collection 
hand. We want to add the, what is in our hand, an iron sword, to the hand collection as something they can spawn with. So add it at 100%, that's fine. We're also going to do the same with the diamond sword. At 100%, um, notice that equals 200%. But because they were, are just an equal percent, they'll each show up 50% of the time. So it kind of takes the whole per all of the percentages, adds them up, and divides them. So if both the items are 100%, they'll show up equally. If both items are 1%, they'll still show up equally because it has to pick one of the items in there. We also want to make it so there's a chance that they don't spawn with a weapon. And what you do there is you actually will add air. This does not have to be capitalized, we can do lowercase there. But if we add an air block to the hand collection, there's also a chance that they'll be holding air, which means they're holding nothing. So let's look at that collection slash loot info. Um, hundred percent iron sword, hundred percent diamond sword, hundred percent air. So they'll get one of those items, and it's an equal probability that they'll get them. So let's now do head. We want to. Here. Add hand to collection head. This will add a glass block. And we'll also do the same with the creeper head. And the same with the player head. We could add air to this one too, but let's not bother with that. Now, if we try to loot this, You'll see, okay, we have to wait. Let's change that time just so you can see how this works. Slash loot time to zero. It's only giving us two items. We need five total. So even though we aren't, they aren't going to spawn with body, legs, or armor on their feet, um, we'll have to add an air block there. So the plugin has five items to deal with so it knows that everything was set up correctly so it doesn't cause other problems like trying to put a creeper head on their feet or something like that which obviously wouldn't work and also if it's giving given something like a glass block do you want to put that on its head or um, holding it as a weapon it's just that's how it works so you have to have five items in that order so slash loot info we want to add an air block at a hundred percent for body legs and feet slash slash loot add air to collection body to collection to collection legs and to collection feet. Now if we try to loot this, we still only see these two items because it doesn't let you loot air. So this is kind of showing you what zombies might spawn with. And let's start spawning some zombies and actually see how it works. Um, we're going to change it to day. So as you can see, this zombie spawned with the diamond sword and a creeper head. And this one spawned with glass head. Notice they aren't burning in the day. That's because any zombie that has something on their head will not burn in daylight. Um, let's keep going here. That has a player head. That looks kind of freaky. Um, iron sword, glass block head. Now that one 
one spawned with some default armor that the creeper had. And had. let's see if we can find one that spawns with the air. Okay, here's one that spawned holding nothing. Um, AKA holding an air block. Now, these things are getting kind of loud. Besides killing them all, I'll just over here. Okay. So that's basically what I wanted to show you there. Let's look at this one more time. Slash loot info. Um, zombie spawn. And equal chance that they'll get one of these. Head, equal chance that they'll get one of these. Body, they're going to get air. Legs, they're going to get air. And feet, they will get air. Back to the top. So that is how mob loots are set up for specific um, mob spawning. It's only zombies and skeletons, I believe, that can actually spawn with armor. So if you try spawning creepers with armor, stuff like that, that won't work. But you can have a lot of fun spawning zombies and skeletons with armor. Um, let's see here. Let's also go over... You can have zombies... If you have multiple worlds and you want zombies to spawn with different things depending on their world, that's slash loot. Make zombies spawn. The same thing works with drops if you just don't include the spawn. Um, let's say we have two worlds. One's going to be um, PvP. If that's the name of our world, that will also be case sensitive. We can make that fat loot. And if you look at this, it's zombie spawn at PvP, but if we look at the info for it, it has no relation to the zombie spawn we were working on earlier. It doesn't have all that loot. It's a completely different fat loot. So any mob that spawns in a world called PvP will have this specific loot table. So you can set one of those for each of your individual worlds. Now of course there's a lot more to mob loots than just what I went over today. But if you have any questions or you want me to cover specific things, um, leave a comment below. Um, like I said, this is Fat Loots version 3.3, which if Bucket the if the bucket staff hasn't approved it yet you can find a link through my twitter feed so that's all for now and i'll see you in the next video